Welcome, 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 everybody. This is Gamer Credits, uh, your boy BP on the mic, along with my friends, the infamous Kids Dream and uh, the Captain Starchild. Say what's up, everybody. Yo. Captain Starchild? Okay. Captain Starchild. That's what I'm going with, man. We'll change it later. It's fine. Yeah. You're all right. Now nah, we'll, we'll leave it as it is. I think so. I think we should do it. We should take a vote. But anyway, <laughs> just uh, glad everybody can join us on this experiment that we're hoping to call a podcast one day. Uh, here to talk about uh you know gaming news discussions things of that nature so getting into it but before we get into all that was gonna was hoping we can get into like a little bit of introduction on ourselves uh i'll start off name is bp avid gamer since i was young current games that i'm into now well the biggest game i'm into is destiny 2 you know much the kid drinks uh chagrin i bet i think we just lost the listener just, just <laughs> you said what I think we we just lost a, a bunch of listeners and you just mentioned Destiny 2. Just... Well, you know, it's fine. It's fine. You know, <laughs> we still got some Destiny 2 players out there. I know. I know. I have faith that they, they exist. So, okay. but yeah, yeah, I can't. But I rock a lot of consoles, but the one I'm on the most right now is PS4. So, don't want to board the catalog. I'm sure we all got our collection of gaming consoles. So, but who's next? Hey. Go ahead, hey. start out. Oh, you want me to go next? Um, go <laughs> ah, well, yeah, just call me Star Child. No, no one needs to know my true identity. Nice. Uh, <laughs> basically, I'm a Nintendo fanboy, and I'm proud of it. But <laughs> I, <a> currently, <laughs> I currently am playing mainly the PlayStation 4. I'm hoping to become a PlayStation 5 owner at some point in 2022. Um, <laughs> what? I, I mean, that's probably when the game. That's probably when the console will be available for the rest of us. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> true. True. Um, I have no complaints for any other um, platforms. Um, I don't hate Microsoft, but you might hear me say a lot of negative things on this <laughs> show. He hates them. And, <laughs> I'm about to say yeah. I'm about to test that theory, but let's go. <laughs> but that's it for me. All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Kid Dream. Uh, you know, I like to consider myself the unbiased one of the group. I actually uh, own all the systems, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, PC, whatever. I'm playing it. I don't care. Uh, right now, I'm playing, you know, the best RPG, JRPG of all time, <laughs> Persona 5. Best okay. RPG ever. <laughs> uh, and, you know. Um, I mean, Zelda still kind of made that game what it is. But I agree with you. It's a great There game. it is. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> we starting early and <laughs> even got into the discussion here, but that's cool. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt your introduction. No, just, no, man. That's pretty, oh, you good? You good? That's pretty much it, you know. That's pretty much all, man. Everybody doing good, man. I'm at the check. I'm as rude as all get out, man. I didn't even check on everybody. How everybody's doing? Y'all good? I mean, I have a slight fever and I can't smell, but you know, <laughs> COVID. <laughs> Well, okay. Nice. So nice. that's an interesting last tag there. <laughs> it's not depressing at all. Yeah, no, I know, man. Especially when you added all. COVID to fever. I'm like, I don't know what to think now. Like, should, you, should you go in to a hospital or something, man? I mean, you good? <laughs> nah, I'm all good. All jokes. All okay, jokes. yeah. No, I'll, I'll, make, I'll make, make light of the current society, you know. Just true. Yeah, we definitely need to make a lot of it, man. This year has been crazy. Yes, so, it has. Kid, what about you, man? Everything's good. I had some coffee, so you know I'm waking up a little bit. This man has ah. coffee. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, man. For you, what coffee cause you to become more hyper or just gonna make you just more lucid? No, nah, it just wakes me up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't feel like I'm awake until I drink some coffee. So just uh, wakes me up. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know how you do it, man, but I don't have a bite. I think I just don't wake up until at least four o'clock. That's just me. Oof. No bites. Is yeah, it don't it don't kick in to four o'clock for me. God, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you. Gotcha. Another day over. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, man, just wanted to get all that out the way, man, and uh, get into the discussions, man. So I feel like we can kind of first start talking about the pre-order business, you know, to kind of give some general thoughts on that, you know, how yeah. that went, you know, like uh, who did it worse, you know, like was it the PlayStation situation that was worse or was it Xbox? You know, yeah, so I can't speak on what was worse because I didn't even attempt Xbox, so I don't know. No, well, so you did you attempted the PlayStation, huh? I, I attempted it, yeah. So, okay. so how about we start with that? Did anybody actually successfully pre-order anything? 
No. And uh, no. <laughs> Not yeah, at I all. Did, I, mean, I did about two weeks prior to them actually doing the like not even two weeks, a week prior to them mm-hmm. doing the announcements that mm-hmm. I should be getting an email. The email was going to uh, let me know that I was part of the list and to look out for a pre-order, you know, email. Yeah. I I was waiting for it and never came. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was yeah. that was wild. No. Nah. But I know someone personally that did get that link and they were able to pre-order. So it's mm-hmm. it went out for some people. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was crazy, man, wasn't it? Because it was like they they purposely sent that whole invite out to say, "Hey, only a select people will be selected, and you'll get the link." You know, before any and, it, and the idea to me, it seemed like that the pre-orders were going to be pretty much solely like through that means, and yep. then like r- rolled out to everything else or everywhere else. So it was just especially wild when you saw like the likes of Walmart and Best Buy, like. Hey man, come get the pre-order here and da da da. And it's like we never even got the email from Sony. Same time, yeah. Yeah. So it was just pretty wild, man. Like I didn't under you know what to make out of that, man. I honestly I think the biggest problem with the whole pre-order situation was just the fact that both companies were so hesitant to release any information that when Microsoft, mm-hmm. you know, got leaked and the Series S was announced early, so mm-hmm. that forced Xbox to just go ahead and give information out. It then made Sony kind of drop the ball and say, "Well, dang, now we got to do something too." So right. I feel like they had a schedule in mind, even though we didn't like the schedule. Mm-hmm. And because they had to kind of do things early, it kind of threw some stuff out of whack. And so mm-hmm. uh, I just feel like both of them kind of <laughs> it wasn't the best, but you know, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I, I agree with that. That's that sounds like that could have been the reality of it all. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I have a much more sinister take, man. I, I just feel like a lot of this stuff they do just to create that whole demand fiasco, like just to hype up their products. Because don't get me wrong, I know it's popular. I know everybody's looking forward to it, man. But I just still feel like, given history of the gaming industry, that that's usually kind of the move to do. Yeah, so I kind of feel like they've been doing. They probably do that too, just with the intention of creating all this kind of drama because it gets more eyes on it, more people's curious about. It, even though, even for people who aren't even interested in that kind of thing too much. Mm-hmm. You know, they're interested in the drama, so then they may get into it and be like, Oh, what's this all about? This PlayStation 5 deal or this you know Xbox series deal. So yeah. I mean that can also be part of the entire reality, but mm-hmm. when you think about it, you don't want to mess up your brand. And that's kind of yeah. a thing that would mess the brand up if that's their intent is to go ahead and purposely create the shortages that makes mm-hmm. for again everybody the one out there that go out there and basically on Black Friday and and basically walk over grandmothers just to get their their own copies. I mean, <laughs> it's not no, Granny. I can't the conversation. You hey, know, gotta do what you got to do, do, right? Yes, I'm just saying. Like, but I just feel like in my brain that the true reality falls more under what on Kid Dream was saying. How it was mm-hmm. just they were pushed to do something. That went against their planned schedule. Just like when I think of mm-hmm. Marvel and how you know COVID caused a lot of their movies to be delayed, and so they keep pushing yeah. all these dates, and no one knows what's going on. That's all right. these companies right now. Nobody knows what's going on. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's just just the new norms, man. We just guys just wake up every day and go, oh, this is the 2020. <laughs> yeah, this is 2020. Yeah, yeah that, that's that's my other part. Is I just feel like with COVID and everything going on, production has just been really slow and they probably haven't been able to make as much of the systems as they may have wanted to make and so Mm -hmm. you know and i'm sure the demand for both systems this year i feel like is is higher than it's ever been and so you know you got this really high demand but because of covid you got really low supply it's just kind of like you know what do you do yeah yeah, what do you do launch yeah and i mean and i want to man i want to believe that i really do uh and, and it's not that without its merits uh i mean i'm pretty sure that could very well be the case but you know i just you know looking back at you know console releases in the past there's always something that came up always some reason why oh there's a shortage or oh the parts mm-hmm. that we have to make this you know weren't coming out the way we wanted it's always something that they're doing out there to say yeah unfortunately we can do only a little bit you know because of this one or two factors yeah, uh, which again, sure, is the reality of it, maybe so, but I just find it very uh, coincidental that that just seems <laughs> to be the case every single time, only for them to bounce back like a week or two later, like, oh, yeah, well, our production's flowing heavy now, we're good. And it's like, you know, at once, you know, it's like I always stop and kind of ask myself, it's like, couldn't they just simply have said, hey, well, we'll delay it, you know, uh, until like, you know, a couple months later on the line? Uh, no, because they of fact, they ain't delaying. What's that? Hmm? <laughs> What's that? I think we're going to delay it. 
Oh, yeah, I know. And, and I know because, you know, they got uh, investors. I'm sure people like that, they have to, you know, answer to. But, you know, because like, I look at like Sony, for example, with the PS3, like, I think initially they had to delay that one or at least the console release over in the States, if I'm not mistaken. I think they had to be delayed till like March of next year from when it was yeah. supposed to come out. I think it came out a year or so after the 360 was out. Mm-hmm. So, so I well, just kind of look at that. They- you gotta mm-hmm. remember, PlayStation didn't really have to rush too much because the PlayStation Two was just so successful. Yeah, it was more yeah, that yeah. Microsoft had to do something different, so they didn't really have to push PlayStation to actually move fast because Microsoft moved. Microsoft mm-hmm. actually had to do something. PlayStation kind of waited another year. Yeah, I mean that PlayStation Two was huge. Yeah, yeah it was one of the best selling systems ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that, and that's funny because you it's funny you said that because that actually ended up being their detriment. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, So, yeah. I, so that actually does make a lot of sense. That's especially why they wouldn't delay it, you know, because they're like, "Nah, we ain't doing that again." <laughs> Last time we did that, man, Xbox ran away with it, man. He was killing it. <laughs> so I guess let's uh, let's answer your original question: who whose launch or pre order situation was worse, Xbox or PlayStation? What do y'all think? Well, I, go ahead. Uh, my, my bad. Go ahead, start y'all. I just throw this out here. I don't know because I did not attempt Microsoft's pre-order, so I I have no experience on on how to view it. I've yeah. seen online that people were not successful the same way people weren't successful with the PlayStation. So I'm going to say it's equal. Both companies dropped the ball mm-hmm. by by trying to do I guess all of this doing this 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 atmosphere. They know that mm-hmm. the bots, the online bots, are out there, so they didn't attempt anything to try to 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 do a different method to give mm-hmm. people an option to bypass these bots. Like I don't know what the the option would have been. I mean, I'm right. not the one sitting on the board making the money, but mm-hmm. I, I think somebody could have sat there and said, you know what, these bots are a a detriment to to our you know means of getting these systems to our customers. How can we get these things directly to our customers? I don't think they care. So yeah, they hope, don't. Hope, yeah, I mean, hope for them flop on that. Yeah, because I think as long as the system sell, they they would. I honestly think they could care less. Yeah, but but um, yeah. I mean, I feel like yeah, because they're definitely both losers. I mean, in a, in regards to like, at least for example, the websites and the and the servers and stuff. You know, it's like they didn't have it prepared, even though they knew full well it was gonna be a high demand for it. They knew, um, but I mean, I still really have to kind of sort of edge it to Sony, but only because of the fact that they come it's like they completely went against what they were what they said they were going to do for the pre-orders you know when they announced this yeah. and oh it's going to be on this particular date you know but then they just yeah. uh, lost and, and to be fair like maybe it wasn't them maybe it was the likes of walmart and best buy that felt like they didn't get the proper communication you mm-hmm. know to say whether whether or not they could go ahead with the pre-orders or not so you know maybe that's what happened but i still feel like the ownership really would have to go with them because it's like look if you make that mandate of Hey, we're gonna release these at a certain time or a certain date, and you really gotta stand by it, because otherwise yeah. you get seen as liars, and and that's that's just I think <laughs> that's really that. detrimental. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, but um, that kind of led me to the next thing I want to talk about. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time talking about hey, it, but we like didn't get, we didn't get um on Kid Green, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't matter, right? Yeah, that's why you uh, all just part of the... <laughs> this guy. Okay, all right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, whatever. You know, whatever. Nah, I mean, I mean, you're right. You're right. Go ahead. I'll make it quick. Um, I, I agree with you, BP. I, I feel like Sony dropped the ball a little bit more. Um, I had a little bit of an experience with it because, um, like I said, I won all the systems, so I, mm-hmm. I plan on trying to get both of them. Right. Um, but I know I watched the event. Uh, what was it like Wednesday night or whatever? And I was like, oh, pre orders go live tomorrow. Well, tomorrow I try to do it. The next day came. I was at work just minding my business, and I was like, well, let me look at Twitter real quick. And I saw, mm-hmm. oh wait, pre orders went live hours ago. <laughs> So, of course, by the time I tried to actually find one, everybody mm-hmm. was sold out. Um, sold out. It was yeah. Crazy. And, and of course, I, I didn't get an email from Sony, so I didn't even have that opportunity either. But I was just I just feel like, you know, they said, oh, tomorrow. But then, like you said, retailers were doing it early and then everybody was just doing it at different times. And mm-hmm. they even did it Wednesday when they said they were going to do it tomorrow. Um, right. But with mm-hmm. Xbox, I feel like they, you know, clearly communicated hey it'll be on this day and they even gave an exact time so mm-hmm. when uh pre-orders went live i actually was able to get to wa- our log into walmart and i was mm-hmm. able to add a xbox series x to my cart 
Now, I purposely didn't buy it um, at that time, but from what I could tell, I had the opportunity to, to buy it. So, ah, um, oh, gotcha. I feel like, um, you know, of course, within like 30 minutes or so, they still sold out. And of course, I did get a chance to get it. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, I feel like because they gave that ample time and heads up, I was able to kind of get in there. And if I wanted to, I could have purchased it. Um, right. But yeah, they both of them sold out so fast. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, and, so and I mean, I do you think that they sold out to yeah. actual people? I think they sold out to the bots and these and the and the individuals that ran those bots are just reselling these things now for almost double the price. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. I mean, there's no <laughs> disputing that. I mean, you know, we that's been kind of a tried and true thing that happened for yeah. generations now. Probably even worse now because all the technology advances. Oh yeah. yeah, you just run scripts and everything, and boom, mm-hmm. you got to do nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so. Honestly, and then I guess given that, you know, because I was going to ask a question of like, do y'all feel like, you know, they dropped the ball with the websites and stuff? Because I've been hearing a lot of that chatter where people were just saying, yeah, this is ridiculous. They know the, of the demand. They know that there's going to be a lot of surge, you know, of traffic. You know, why don't they mm-hmm. set these up to like accommodate for that? But do you think it matters? Do you think it would really either way? They don't matter because in order for them to have set it up to where it can ramp perfectly, mm-hmm. they would have to spend some money. And right. they weren't yeah. looking at doing anything other than the same old same. They say, okay, if it mm-hmm. crashes, we would just bring it back up again. And, like, they didn't care about our experience. They just wanted mm-hmm. yeah. they, they just wanted us to keep on trying until we got through. That was it. Yeah. yeah, yeah I agree. <laughs> I mean, look at uh, MMOs and online games when they launch. I mean, they take pre-orders. They take pre-registration. They know uh, they have a roundabout number of how many people are going to try to log in day one. Mm-hmm. And the first few days of a new online game is typically pretty bad because you Horrible. can't get into the server. Yeah, it's just yeah. so many people trying to do it. So I think, you know, it's just when you have that high, high influx of people, it's just servers just going to crash. And like yeah. Star Child said, they don't want to spend no more money. No. <laughs> they want to oh. make the money, not spend the yes. money. It, exactly. Yeah, no, crash. you're right. Definitely agree. So, but yeah, uh, well, I guess we'll have to see how it all pans out, you know, with more pre-orders on the way and all that, as they say. Uh, Fingers like, crossed. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? To see how that works out. So they look good. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, don't you miss the days when you used to have to stand in line and get a ticket and then wait for the stores <laughs> to open and find out that your ticket, the number yeah. that you were at, this did not enough. So you waited online for about a good twenty hours for no reason. So yeah, yeah. Man, it's, it's a little bit better being online. Yeah. As, on the computer than being actually physically online. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't for that store weight chief. All those. Hey man, that there. was me with the Nintendo V. And oh, you did? Never again. Never again. <laughs> I saw too many of those. Uh, I saw too many cases out there. People were sitting out there all night and all that. I was like, nah, that's never been me. Yeah. I'm cool. I can always wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, we'll see though. But. So moving on to the next uh, topic, as I hope we can discuss was, you know, concerning the game price increase for the next uh-huh. generation. Um, I don't know about y'all, but it, it's kind of a it's been kind of a confusing situation with the messaging behind that. You know, like we when we seen uh, I'm, I can't remember which company went first, said they were going to do it at 70 bucks. Was it 2K? 2K. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, 2K21. Yeah. So most people say, well, you know, by them doing that, they obviously are going to set the standard and more people are going to follow. Um, but I don't know. Here and there, you, I've seen that it hasn't always been the case. Mm-hmm. You know, like you got your CD Project Red, for example, that's kind of going through the pro consumer rate, uh, you know, route and saying, hey, you know, we're 60 bucks here and 60 bucks for the next gen, at least from my understanding. Right. Is that correct? Yeah. You just pay 60. Right. So my whole thing is, yeah, they can like, always what do y'all feel about that? Do you, I mean, stance. do you feel like that's a whole, the whole, that leap is justifiable? Do you feel like it's kind of confusing now as we have it to where you have some games that are 70 and the other games that are maybe just $60 still? Like, how do you feel about that? I think uh, these greedy companies, they, uh, they're they trying to play by the year. They always want to push the envelope. They want to see what they can get away with. And mm-hmm. I think... Uh, some companies are going to go ahead and take that leap. You know, we got 2K, we got Activision, you know, mm-hmm. saying, okay, well, 70 bucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, I, and now Sony, we know, is going to be charging 70 as well. Right. So I, I think it's really going to come down to just the market. And, and, and if people accept it and still buy these games day one or if they wait for that sale to come up. Um, mm-hmm. it, I'm going to wait for the sale. Just throwing that out there. 
Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, Star. I, I was like that too. I can wait for yeah. the sale. <laughs> I, mean, let, let me, have, hmm? I was just gonna say we have people who do wait like that, like you. Um, then I think they will go back to sixty because nobody wants to spend that extra money. But I think if people are rushing out and still buying games they want, then yeah, I think more and more companies are gonna adopt the seventy dollar price tag. Right. I know hardcore people who will still go out there and spend the seventy dollars. Right. But mm-hmm. that number of those hardcore people are, are not the ones that's going to make the profits for these companies. The yeah. company doesn't care for just the hardcore. That's why they keep changing games because the hardcore people will love a game to stay the exact same way every single version. But they are trying to attract new buyers. Mm-hmm. So the new buyers may not want to pay seventy dollars, and that's going to probably make them change their minds in 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 the in the in the short term because mm-hmm. seventy dollars. That, that, I mean, you, you're you're a parent. Just saying, not saying who I'm referring to, but someone on here is a parent. <laughs> and if your child was going to come to you and say, "Buy me this this actual game," and you look at mm-hmm. that price, seventy dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, that yeah. changes a lot of how you want to spend your money. I mean, it's seventy dollars. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's definitely true. And that's definitely true. And then also, it's kind of looking at like the fact that. You know, back then, it seemed easier of a, I guess, concept to grasp and accept when games went up in price, you know, because of inflation and, you know, the times changing and technology uh, being being more expensive, so to speak. Yeah. Um, it's just I wonder about this current period that we're in, because back then, you know, we didn't have uh, a lot of the microtransactions, uh, microtransactions, DLCs, you know, the what, battle pass. Downloads. Yeah. Was that? Digital downloads. You, they sell more mm. games now, but digitally than they do with the actual physical copy. So yeah, you think mm. that they can keep the digital, you know, downloads as their profits. Exactly. And still give us a pretty good pricing on the actual physical copies because mm-hmm. yeah. it won't cost much to to print. I'm sorry. That yeah. used to be a a complaint with Nintendo and their cartridges because yeah, a cartridge was expensive. And right. With the cost more. They are now using flash cards. That's expensive. Mm-hmm. A DVD yeah, right. don't go up in price. It's still very cheap to print these things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so that. So then, and that's what my whole thing is: is that you know you you can make the argument before a price increase necessary. Sure. I mean, even in some cases, like you said, with the digital thing, it's like uh, it's questionable. But most people would be willing to be like, yeah, you know, it's just the times. But given all that other stuff, the how they're making money, and they try to make that same excuse of, well, we still have to make turn a profit. You know, we still got to that's why we're doing the 70 bucks. You know, we got to make sure we keep up with, you know, being able to have enough money to fund these things, these ex- expenditures. And it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, but you you got that funding from all this other stuff, especially with the micro transactions, you know. Oh, yeah. So exactly. it's like so that's why I kind of feel like people may not. I'm not going to say that there won't be a accepting of it. Like you said, there's definitely the hardcore crowd that don't care. They just want to play the game. But yeah. I feel like overall long run, people are going to really look at it and be like, wait a minute. We, we're not in those times anymore where a ten dollar increase was warranted or whatever according to you now is we see all this money you're making these billions and millions of dollars you know there's just no way that now we can't see this in our mind that that's that's the way to go anymore you know and not to knock you knock knock that point because we're we're definitely seeing how they are making more money Mm -hmm. off less quality products Mm -hmm. they are just rehashing the same game over and over again now and they are still be they still making the money off of those microtransactions Right. So yeah. what's warranting them to say that, oh, with the new consoles, that we're going to be putting more effort into the games to, to we need to see an increase in pricing? I mean, mm-hmm. do they say they're going to be hiring more staff because they'd be doing 4K? No, they never said that. Oh, they're saying they got mm-hmm. to buy new technology so they can try to now make more HDR games or make better 3D visuals. No, yeah. they never said that. They, they, right. they, yeah. they, have, yet, they have yet to say what they're going to be doing to warrant the increase. Mm-hmm. That's, that's actually a really good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I charge it more doesn't mean the quality is going to get better. And I don't, I think it's going to be more of the same, you know? Yeah. And it's interesting because that's kind of been a trend for a lot of the things, you know, uh, when it comes to these games, you know, like they don't really have a lot of the good explanation or, you know, kind of like a, a clear explanation of why things happen the way they do. They just kind of stick with, Hey, well, you know, <laughs> These are the times we're in. It's like, uh, yeah. okay, like, <laughs> you know, it'd be one thing if mm-hmm. they, you know, increase the price, but they cut out all the extra, 
things that they're doing. You know, if they cut out all the mm-hmm. special editions, if they cut out the DLC, or mm-hmm. maybe not the DLC, but the microtransactions and right. the battle pass and, mm-hmm. and all this stuff, if they cut that out, fine. And I'm okay with spending seventy dollars, but they're not going to. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're they're going to do that. Part of the game for more money. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. They're that's add on to it, and it's like, no, I don't want to add on to this. Right. So, well, like I said, we have to see how that goes. I mean, I'm pretty sure at some point they'll find a way to get the 70 thing to stick. But I don't know. Who knows? Maybe people may get fed up. And I especially mean, during this time. I mean, I know, understand the CEO, the CEO, he may have like this this agenda to grow the company profits or, you know, the portfolio for the investors. And this is one way of them doing that. I right. mean, oh, yeah. as a business standpoint, fine you know you want to grow the portfolio because you know this this is a perfect timing to to push games to the forefront because everybody's technically home we can't mm-hmm. really go nowhere so yeah this is a perfect time for uber uber eats and, and gaming this is perfect yeah. so <laughs> right, increase right. your profit but look give us something in return like tell yeah. us for 70 dollars we won't put in microtransactions tell us for 70 dollars yeah. We gonna give you two free DLCs, or tell us something yeah. that warrants this idea of seventy dollars. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah definitely like something that. that goes a long way for the value. Yeah, I agree with that. So before we move on, I got a question for you two. Then yeah, yeah, what up? So as you probably both know, you know Xbox Game Pass, uh, all their first party games, um, they come to Game Pass day one, and mm-hmm. you don't have to spend any extra money. Uh, mm-hmm. So, so what do you guys think? Uh, Xbox and Microsoft are going to do for people who uh, don't have Game Pass and they still buy the games. Do you think they're going to continue charging at sixty, or do you think they'll move up to seventy? That's a great question. Yeah, I was really wondering about that. Actually, me and uh, Kidrin, we talked about that a little bit actually uh, mm-hmm. before. But I actually definitely was thinking a lot about that this weekend because I was like, you know, it just seems like it would be a perfect, you know, position for them to do that to where they're just like, oh, you know, we'll just do the sixty bucks. You know, we got the whole Game Pass thing running. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. we don't really need to kind of go that route of 70 because, you know, we, you know, that's kind of covered pretty much essentially through the Game Pass. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that could be a good way for them to kind of, uh, you know, undercut, especially the competition with Sony because they've already made their stance of 70. Yeah. Um, the only thing I would say is that it might kind of have, there may be some issues taken up with the third party developers. I mean, wow. I don't know how that really would work, but. Well, typically, third-party games don't come out day one, right? Pass, typically, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying, like, as far as like this the selling of, so I guess what I'm, I guess what I'm saying is, you're thinking that, that they would strictly keep it for their first-party titles of sixty bucks, and yeah, then whatever yeah. else the developer was saying, sure, we'll go with seventy bucks. Yeah, yeah, just their first-party game. Which, you know, yeah, and it makes more sense. Fable, yeah, Forza, stuff like that. Yeah, that makes sense too. Actually, I can I can see that making a lot of sense. Personally. I, I'm, I myself understand that, you know, when when you do the comparison between both consoles and the cons for pros and cons, mm-hmm. Microsoft has that edge with that Game Pass. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, that's I, I really, truly wish I love Microsoft more because I would have probably wanted this new system, this new console because of Game Pass. You can play yeah. so many nice. games on day one. Right. Even though the games that you probably can't even push the, the, the console's power for paying the price that you pay for, it, mm-hmm. still, you have access to so many games. Right. Oh, yeah. PlayStation, on the other hand, they wanted to do something different and they didn't want to make it backwards compatible. Right. I, I think they they dropped the ball. And it's sad to say that because <laughs> I, I love Sony, but right. they dropped the ball. There, there might be a real actual programming issue or hardware issue that's going to make it hard for them to to actually make it backwards compatible back mm-hmm. to the three and the two. It's very right. possible. But this mm-hmm. is Sony. They got the money. They got the hard. Oh, yeah. They can oh, figure yeah. this out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. Like, and that's what it's funny want. you said that because I remember watching a dude. Uh, I can't remember this YouTuber, but he had did a video about that where he was talking about people out there who generally were able to come up with, you know, PS3 emulators, you know, with low end yes. PCs and yeah. able to play games, you know, smoothly, rough, uh, you know, uh, virtually smoothly. Uh, yeah. So, you know, he was just kind of making a comment like, yeah, I mean, if they're able to do that, then, uh, you know, Sony shouldn't really have any problem with their own, their yeah. own stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting to think about that. Yeah. Uh, but personally, I, I, I figure 
with Xbox, it's a win-win for them either way. You know, if mm-hmm. it's, if they don't raise prices, then it's good publicity for them. You know, hey, look, we're still sixty, right, job, guys? You know, yeah. but if they do raise it to seventy, then you, they could say, yeah, we had to raise it to seventy, but here's Game Pass. Hey, True. Hey. Yep. I, I feel yep. like either way, it could be a win-win for them. Um, yeah. For she, they just people just get turned off and say, you know what? No. But mm-hmm. I mean, if the uh, if the industry's doing it as a whole, then you know, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, people, I don't think, yeah, that would be too much of a problem. With people just turning away, but I think overall, it's just a win-win for them, right? So let me ask you this then, since y'all, you know, you kind of brought this to mind, but you know, we uh, talking about the PlayStation. What was it called? PlayStation Plus Collection. Yeah, yeah, where you can be on that and apparently get access to all the uh, their first party titles, the main ones, the big, big, you know, headliners. Uh, you know, God of yeah. War and Spider Man, all that. Wait, um, uh, do you Spider-Man think? In- I, well, maybe I don't know. I thought it was supposed to be a lot of the first party titles. They may have not shown that one. I might have just be, you know, just you know, uh, diving in that too quick, thinking that's what's going to happen. But, yeah. uh, but I know they're getting a lot of their, I guess their the popular ones, the popular mm-hmm. um, titles. So I'm thinking, do you think there's a possibility because they didn't do the backwards compatibility, you know, outright? Do you think there's any way they can incorporate that into the plus collection, or do you think they would ever do that? Just to kind of be like, you know, Game Pass here is killing us. We got to really do something to kind of spice up this collection membership. Uh, you know, maybe start adding those game, old games. I, in. I don't think so. I think because PlayStation Plus and all their free games over their couple months, just they, their selection have went to almost nothing. Like there's <laughs> no reason for me to look forward to the next month right now with the PlayStation Plus. Right. I think they tried to move us away from that because of those changes they were making. Okay. So I, I don't think they care about that. They yeah, got their exclusives, and that's what they're going to keep pushing. Yeah. And see, um, I, I kind of disagree because I feel like the PlayStation Plus collection was a direct response to Game Pass. And, mm-hmm. and honestly, you know, obviously, Sony. I would say it has now has the better games, you know, compared to Xbox, right. Microsoft. Sony has much better games. Mm-hmm. Um, and while the collection they do have is a lot of great games and um, some definitely favorites on there, uh, I, I feel like they're going to realize as we get further and further in this new generation, they're going to see the success of Game Pass and how, you know, people love putting their first party games on there and just being able to pay with Game Pass and play it. So I, mm-hmm. I think as we get further in the generation, Sony's going to see that success and move more towards that subscription um, and, and add the first party games day one to the PlayStation collection. If they keep that name or whatever, uh, I think they're going to keep towards that. You know, not at now because they want to still see the sales of Spider-Man Miles Morales. They want to see the sales of Horizon Forbidden West. But yeah, you know, two, three years from now, they might say, you know what? Put it on their day one. Hmm. Got you, got you. I I don't know. I just feel like with Microsoft, they don't look at the consoles as being their main goal. They look uh, at online services. PlayStation mm-hmm. looks at their consoles as being actual the actual goal in their business model. So mm-hmm. I don't think they're going they're going to change their business model just because Microsoft did. Because Microsoft business model is not always successful. I mean, it makes them money, mm-hmm. but their business model is not technically consoles sony mm-hmm. can't just con- like up and change their entire business model to fit microsoft's because microsoft can put their game pass on pcs they're working on putting their game pass on a nintendo switch i mean that's this those are, that's in the talks who knows if that can happen <laughs> but playstation that's not their model so i don't think they can change it up just to kind of go down that same road because that can kind of make them lose money because their money mm-hmm. is in those consoles yeah. So you don't yeah. see down the road PlayStation moving more towards PC? I don't think they would ever do that. I would love for them to do that, but I don't think they will. Well, you know, they, yeah. they put some on there, and there was an exec who said they wanted to expand to PC a little bit more. Is yeah, he still they did it Horizon, right? Didn't they do it with Horizon? Yeah, yeah Horizon right. came out. Is he still alive, though? I was just making sure. <laughs> 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 Probably as we speak. I mean, I don't know not, I don't know about how much longer, but <laughs> do some headline. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at Star like, hey man, you know something we don't know, man. I mean, I'm kind of scared to do this podcast now. I don't want to <laughs> just having two of y'all. <laughs> I don't know what happened to VP. 
<laughs> I'm just saying, I think Sony would break the internet if they announced, you know, God of War on PC, Spider Man on PC. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it would be crazy. It would be crazy, but PC. it would take like, away from themselves, though. It would really hurt them in the long run if they tried to go to the PC route as a console system, as console company. Yeah. Yeah, and plus, I, I just feel like, I mean, I mean, who knows, but Sony, they're, they're pretty cocky, you know, let's face it. They, they just, <laughs> yeah. they want to do things the way they want to do it, you know, and just because, like Malik was saying, that, you know, Microsoft, because Microsoft, I, I can see that whole thing with the Game Pass and the way they're doing their setup. Like, I can see that being really successful for them. I, I really can, but I just feel like Sony was going to look at that and be like, <laughs> yeah, that's cool for, and then, you know, for all that for them, but for us, mm-hmm. <laughs> we good, man. Yeah, we got that new God of War coming. We know y'all yeah. want that, you know. So it's like, yeah, you know, it's like that's just. I feel like that's their stance, you know, because yeah, uh, you know, let's just face it. And honestly, that could hurt them in the long run, at, you know, over time. But yeah, it's just they're just cocky, man. It's really I, cocky. I mean, they deserve it. They they won this generation, hands down. They won PlayStation Four, Xbox One. They won the generation. I mean, they had the yeah. games. I mean, some of the best games this generation. Yeah, but it's still so, scary I mean, though. Yeah, because you know, if you look back at the PS3, I mean, it could just as easily fall from them. So it's like that's why I always like. I mean, I understand the cockiness, but it's like you can only go so far. Yeah, yeah. look at Sega. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Sega boy, that's gonna be a whole different podcast with Sega. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just hold on that one, then. <laughs> but mark my words, though. Mark my words. Xbox is gonna come on top of generation. I, I mean, I'm gonna mark the words, but I don't believe in them. I'm gonna mark them. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you doing it too. I'm gonna mark it and I'm gonna just throw it in the thread. <laughs> let's, let's remember this day. Let's remember this day. I, I, I think Xbox is gonna come on top of generation. And you know, like it might be a slow start, you know, uh, which uh, who knows because both systems sold out day one <laughs> right an hour. Yeah, yeah, I got the numbers. What's the numbers? Mm-hmm. Who sold the most or who had the most available? Well, it's hard to I say because we don't know the availability for each one, right? So no, I, don't I don't think so. I don't so, think yeah, there's any information on it, unfortunately. But but I will be I, I will say this, you know, Kid Dream, because Kid Dream and I talked about this a few days ago, but I will I I'm I'm very surprised about the series uh, X and S selling. Well, the S I kind of felt like would sell out, but I thought oh, yeah. X really wasn't gonna sell out. But he kept telling me, he's like, nah, man, it's gonna sell out. It's gonna sell out the same day. I was like, nah, son, it ain't gonna happen. And here's, here's what I think <laughs> happened though. I think if they couldn't get one, they went and tried to get the other. Yeah, that's a good point. Because they wanted something. Whoever wanted a Xbox console, they wanted something that day. So if they couldn't mm-hmm. get the main one, they went for the lesser one. Yeah, I mean got you, got you. three hundred dollars is unbeatable i mean i mean the, the yeah. value you're getting in that system i mean yeah, I yeah talk that's crazy. about this alone i mean a ray tracing graphics card by itself you're talking four or five up hundred dollars like mm-hmm. you're getting all this and more for three hundred dollars is insane <laughs> that is very insane and, and much less the um ssd as well that they're using for yeah. it so but here's yeah. my here's my here's my problem and don't 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 hate me on this but no promises. Don't you, don't you hate gimmicks, though? Aren't you tired of gimmicks? Who ever woke up in the morning and look at their games and be like, I wish the sun can just bounce into this room here? Like, no one <laughs> really cares about ray tracing. But because it's a new technology, yeah. they, they coined this term and made us all want something that we aren't going to miss. We're not going to miss it if it's not turned on in the game. You're like, right. you notice it on until you unless you want those those types that just really want to push their pcs yeah that's different but as a console gamer i don't care like i just <laughs> i just want the game to be fun that's that's about it it's, i want to look great yeah. mm. and ray tracing does make it more realistic but yeah. they have been doing a bunch of tricks and throughout all these years and made the, the same effects look just believable so right see i'm not yeah, <laughs> and I was I was agreeing with you like a year or so ago when the uh, uh, Nvidia announced the uh, 2000 series or um, for the graphics cards that yeah. could do the ray tracing. I was kind of with you. I was like, ah, I mean, it's just sliding. It doesn't really make a big deal. But as uh, they now are on a 3000 series, um, and I've looked more into it because um, full transparency, I'm trying to get a uh, probably a 3070 graphics card. You know, getting Ooh. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, money. So I'm talking nah, about. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> uh, and I've seen 
the the difference ray tracing can make in a game and it, 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 it i mean it's sure it's a small you know it's a part of it it's not the entire thing but i mean that lighting can go a long way depending on what game it is and it it makes it can make it look really different and I yeah realize. yeah it's incredible sometimes but yeah you're, you're right it's not it's not the end all be all of graphics <laughs> <laughs> that people <laughs> make it up to be well, it is, well, it is pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it definitely is. But uh, it's just funny, you know, hear a star saying all that, and uh, because I was just thinking about like some videos I watched where people was complaining about the fact that they were, you know, some uh, developer or game uh, companies were hinting at you know certain games being thirty, you know, FPS still. Oh yeah, know, for the next gen, and it's like they would make that argument too, like yeah, I mean, if you would throw all this ray tracing and graphical updates and four K stuff, it's like no, we don't care. We just want the stuff to run smoothly. And we want the game to be enjoyable. Like we don't yeah, that's all it. those we, details. We <laughs> want the performance to to work for you. We don't, yeah. we don't care about the actual effects. If you want to add those effects and crash your computer, that's one thing. But console, <laughs> we want the to stay stable. We don't want these things blowing up in people's you know, in living rooms and stuff. So yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about us playing uh remember when Borderlands 3 first oh, came out? Man. <laughs> Boy, the stutter of that thing was crazy, man. <laughs> Yo, and even with the, I won't say who broke our current borderlands, but <laughs> even when you want to use a certain type of weapon, and then you got three other people using that same weapon with that same effect, you can still crash that console. Right. Nice. Not even the server, you crashing the console. <laughs> I mean, you know it's bad when it was overheating the dog on, what was it, the Xbox One X or something like that? Yeah, it was making it shut down. That's, I mean, that's bad, man. Like, that's like, is it really worth it after that? It's like you could have just simply gave us something that ran smoothly and had a good, you know, experience. Exactly. It's just... So everything's a gimmick. I get it, and they made us want this gimmick because True. we want, you know, we want the latest and greatest. Mm-hmm. But if you step back, I just want a good game experience. Yeah, yes, I, don't I think we can argue with that, Chief. I agree. So, well, before we wrap up, um, I was thinking that we can kind of. You know, because we've kind of spent a lot of time with the whole debate on these things. But one thing I was curious about for each of us is what's the next gen title that you're most looking forward to out of everything that we've been shown? Wait, we we only sticking towards the PlayStation and Xbox because I want to go with my Nintendo. Oh Which yeah, no, no, we go. We can give Nintendo some love, man. Because okay, like, okay. <laughs> I was thinking about that too. Like, man, we didn't even talk about Nintendo at all. And get Breath of Wild too. Okay, all right. Right. Wait, I mean, that, they didn't. They announced that. No, yeah. they 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 hinting at oh, many right. things on this game. They always show the trailer for it, but okay, yeah, it's it's not even a trailer. It's just a little, uh, I guess a tease. But yeah, so you know, it's in development. Yeah, it's still in development, but that's not the game I'm looking forward to, though. But that's okay. a good one. I but got I'm my game is new, news yeah, game. Metro Prime, up. people, Metro Prime. We just kind of just keep our fingers crossed that they will show us something in 2020 to have us look forward to it in 2021. Metro right. Prime, is it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> forgot I about mean, the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You forgot about <laughs> game too, but just now thinking about it, like, that's the game I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting if they can, because uh, uh, I know it's been having uh, some good times and some bad times, you know, um, with some of the releases. Oh, yeah. Android, so, we'll, you know, Maybe maybe we'll be hopeful though. Maybe they can, like I said, pull it off. So I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was coming, Kendrick. <laughs> you better call up. You better call up Kodak. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah. What about you? What about you, kid? You know, that's a great, great question. Uh, I've just been so focused on. The end of this generation, you know, we're in Cyberpunk 2077. That's my oh, most uh, anticipated true, game uh, true, true. for the past few years now, and it's finally coming out this year. So I, uh, I guess if I had to look for just specifically next gen, um, yeah, you know, we don't know too too much from Xbox and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I oh, would yeah, say Halo. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I want to say the new God of War, but I just. I, I, I'm not sure if it's God of War 2. You know, if, mm. it, if it's more of a Miles Morales, you know, um, Uncharted Lost Legacy type deal. I, oh, yeah. I hope not. I, I hope not either. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, if it's if it's God of War 2, then that's what it'll be. If it's not, if it's God of War, you know, Ragnarok, and it's just 
the little mini expansion that they do. Um, I don't know because we don't really have a lot that we know of. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I mean, you know, and, and then to be fair, Cyberpunk is next gen too. Or it's going to come to next gen technically. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so all those spells, you can just be like that. It's yeah. one of those games that is still able to run off of both, com- well, I guess, both uh, consoles where mm-hmm. it's going to be a PlayStation 4 and a PlayStation 5 re- um, release. I just feel like. I want to see what the true exclusive console game will look like when it's built just for the new console. Right. Yeah. I just yeah. don't want to see a game that's running on 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 you know the, the framework that can also be ran on the older older consoles. I want to see what the next thing is that can't be played on anything else but the current or the or the next gen. I want to see how they can really push it. That's mm-hmm. gonna give me my you know my beliefs are if I want to spend $70 or not on a game. <laughs> yeah, I want to see what fair. they can really do on this new hardware. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. That's definitely because that's definitely what Sony was trying to push really hard in the beginning about the PS5. Yeah. What about you, BP? Oh, man. So man, honestly, and this probably won't be a surprise, but I mean, there's a lot of good choices, but I have to kind of settle for the Resident Evil. Oh, Resident Evil oh, Village. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, you already know because you know, kid. And I talk all, a lot, and I know he always gets annoyed with me coming up with Resident Evil at some point in time. But that's like one of my favorite series of all time, man. And uh, you did really, see the trailer, right? Huh? You did see that trailer? I did. I saw all the trailers, man. I mean, I'm, I'm. Look, when I tell you I'm a Resident Evil buff, that, bro. That direction? <laughs> hmm. You're not upset with that direction that they seem to be going in? No. You know, it's funny because I saw where people were talking about that. Like, I even read in the magazines where people were like, because they, you know, apparently had some people were leaking information here and there and about how Chris was going to be just drastically different, you know, um, and he's going to be more of an antagonist. Um, but I just honestly was just more intrigued, man. I was just like, well, how are they going to pull this off? And, you know, I, I just, I'm, I'm, I guess they just got me at the curiosity, man. You know, oh, okay. I just, you know, and I, I mean, I respect people who are really fans of, you know, the lore and how chris has been and everything up to this point but uh-huh. i mean let's face it resident evil has continued on because why because they they change you know they 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 evolve or they, or they have to or they come to the realization that they have to evolve okay you All know because right. you know otherwise six probably would have been this coffin <laughs> <laughs> six would probably been like the one that was like at their you know they had everybody be like you know it's a good run but we got oh. other games out here so so i'm, I'm curious i really do want to see where that goes um, you know, and you know, I just have faith that it'll end up being a, you know, in, in a positive way. So we'll have to see. I may get mad too. I may be back on here and just you know complaining all day <laughs> about like how how they screwed Chris over and how I'm done with him. And then you know buy buy the next part later anyway because <laughs> Resident Evil. But uh, yeah, well, we'll, we'll see. It probably we'll will. see <laughs> exactly. Cause he can't know. He already know. Yeah. No, I yeah. made many declarations about stuff and. So yeah, so I was back on that game again, man. Oh yeah, even though he uninstalls it, he'll re-download it in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, for, for, those, for those uninitiated, uninitiated, he's referring to my 2K uh, yeah. love and hate relationship. <laughs> well, okay. 2K is a whole other story for another time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna be all a day thing, man. But well, I guess that's gonna wrap it up, everybody. You know, thanks for all that came decided. Come check it out and listen, and yeah, you, know, you know, uh give a good hearing to out to these people, uh, to us, and everything. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say if this was YouTube, we would say hit that subscribe button. But I don't know. How I know to- that's why I was like, oh, I can't say that. I can't say that. It's not, you know, it's, gotta, it's a podcast, man. It's a podcast. You know, make not it- in the like and subscribe part yet. So yeah, make it your favorite. Make us what you wake up to in the mornings. Hey, you know, we driving to work every day. Be sure to put this on. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely, yeah. and we got much more to come down the road and everything but you know uh as long as anybody else got nobody, nothing else to add man you know we can just call it a, conclude it here hey, i got a quick question i know yeah. this is part of something we should say off the mic um but <laughs> we do have listeners that want to like pose questions to us that we can kind of like use the next show to to respond to how do we give them a a location to send us their questions or their comments that's a good question. Uh, I still have to kind of get all that worked out through. Uh, I guess, I guess I'm going through Anchor. 
because um, I know there's a way to do it. I just hadn't really figured that part out yet because I was a little disappointed that I couldn't even do all this right now on Anchor to get it all worked out. Ah, uh, okay. uh, yeah, but, I saw you know, you but Anchor, like you said. Yeah, yeah, they definitely have something for you to do it because they even have a section for your voicemails that you're listening nice. to. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and then you can check it and then you know go over it and all that stuff. So that's definitely going to be a thing. So I want everybody to kind of be on the lookout for that. Hopefully this manifests to a great thing and keep it moving. Stay so, tuned. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> but with that being said, about to sign off. This is BP along with uh, Kid Dream and Star Child. We'll uh, check y'all next time. Let's Peace get out. Be blessed.